Hi, this is BK Hobby. And today I want to show you a new product that I've recently come across. The promises to be a worthy replacement for the Philips Hue light bulbs. Now, if you're like me, you love these Philips bulbs, especially the color ones for their ability to set really cool lighting scenes in your home. But one thing I don't think anyone loves about these is their price. Now this is a generation 2 Philips Hue light bulb and even today with generation 3 bulbs already available these go from anywhere between 40 to 50 dollars. So I'm always looking for worthy replacements that will work with the Philips Hue bridge and my open hub home automation system and I think I've come across such a product. So these are some products I got from Glidopto which is a company from China that makes many different lighting products and advertises them as Hue compatible Zigbee products. So I will go over these today and show you how well they operate with the Philips Hue bridge and whether they're worth their price. Speaking of price, these do provide a very nice discount over, over a typical Philips Hue light bulb. For example, these 6 watt or 12 watt E26 slash E27 base light bulbs go from anywhere between $20 to $25 on AliExpress. And I will post the links to all these products down in the video description below, so check that out. So first I will focus on these two light bulbs right here. So this is a 6 watt bulb and this is a 12 watt bulb. Now you'll notice that they're quite different in size and the typical Philips Hue light bulb falls somewhere in the middle between the 6 and the 12. And with these different sizes also come different luminosity values. This bulb is rated at 500 to 550 lumens. The Hue light bulb is 800 lumens and the 12 watt comes in at 1000 lumens. I'll show you how that actually compares when you put these in a lamp side by side. So first I want to show you how these interact with the Philips Hue environment. Installing these and setting them up is just as easy as it is setting up a new Philips Hue light bulb. Just screw it into a lamp or a ceiling fixture, turn on the power and the light bulb will turn on and then search for it using your Philips Hue app on, on your phone. So as you see these fit into the Philips Hue bridge environment just fine. I've had no issues getting them recognized and adding them to my Philips Hue bridge. Or for that matter my OpenHAP configuration. Now let's see how these Glidopto bulbs actually compare to the original Philips Hue bulb. So I had these set up in my family room lamp and I just cycled through different colors along the RGB color wheel and the white light position. One thing you can definitely see is that the Glidopto bulbs have a much brighter and richer set of colors than the Philips Hue light bulb. And that's understandable, especially with the green color. Philips Hue first and second generation bulbs definitely did not have a good looking green color. And I do not have a generation 3 bulb to compare these to. But you can tell from the comparison here that the Glidopto bulbs definitely have a nice rich green color. So that is a pro. The one con I can see with these bulbs is that their white color brightness definitely seems dimmer than the Hue light bulb. Even though this bulb is supposedly 1000 lumens and the Philips Hue light bulb is only 800 lumens. So I think that has to do with the fact that Glidopto focused on getting these to represent RGB colors a lot better than the white. And that's fine when you care about color scenes and won't be using these for getting the room to be bright. The other con I can think of with using these bulbs is that they are third party light bulbs and Philips will not allow you to use the Philips Hue bridge to update the firmware on these bulbs if it was available. And that may or may not be a problem. I have been using these GE Link light bulbs. They're only good for white color, but they've been working out great in my setup. That said, they're discontinued and there's no more firmware updates for them. So if Philips decides to discontinue support for these with a firmware upgrade, I'm going to be out of luck unless I switch to a dedicated Zigbee controller for these. And that's always a workaround that's possible with these bulbs as well. You don't have to have a Hue bridge to control these. You can get a Zigbee controller and set up your own Zigbee network. So now let's talk about the biggest pro of using these Glidopto bulbs. It's definitely the price. 
As you see on AliExpress, the 12 watt bulb goes for $24.99, but they usually have coupons that allow you to get it even cheaper. The 6 watt goes for $20. But if you look at the comparison between the two, there really is no difference between the 6 watt and the 12 watt as far as I can tell. So I think the biggest concern is the size of the bulb. If you can fit the 12 watt bulb in, in your fixtures, I would go with the 12 watt. If you can only fit smaller bulbs in your fixtures, I would go with the 6 watt bulb. So I did get a couple other products to show you today. Gladopto also makes this GU10 bulb, which is also RGB and white. And with these, they definitely seem to have focused on getting the white color to be brighter and better represented. Just by looking at the number of the different color temperature white LEDs I see in this ring here. And in this clip, you see how it compares to the standard GU10 bulbs in my lighting fixture. I can match the color temperature or the white color pretty well. And the RGB light does add a nice shade of color to the overall light. I did check with Gladopto to see if they made an E12 candelabra base light bulb. At the moment they do not, but they might offer one in the future just based on the fact of how many different products they've made so far. E12 candelabra base bulbs will be great for things like sconces and fan light fixtures. So the last thing I'm going to show you is this RGB LED strip controller. And the cool thing about this is it's also Philips Hue compatible, or Zigbee compatible. But it's also compatible with multiple different types of LED strips. Basically it takes a 12 to 24 volt input, either a DC plug or a wired input. And on the other side you would hook up your RGB LED strip wires. So you can hook up an RGB or RGBW strip, depending on what you have. So this LED strip controller obviously won't control anything like a WS2812 or other addressable LED strips, but the full length RGB LED strips are supported. So this one can do 6 amps per channel up to a total of 15 amps total current on the LED strips. So theoretically if you're looking at 50 milliamp LEDs, you should be able to control a string of up to 300, which is probably pushing it. Okay, so now I'll show you how this RGB LED controller works with the Philips Hue using this cheap 12 volt RGB strip that I picked up on Amazon. And I'm going to use one of my four wire connectors. So these colors are going to be wrong, but the important thing here is just to match the connections on the RGB controller with the connections on the LED strip. It will definitely help if you have these wires pre-stripped and tinned before you start putting them into the controller. So I'm just going to go down the line here and the cool thing about the terminals on this is they're just pushed down. So all I have to do is push on the terminal with my screwdriver, insert the wire till it sits inside the terminal and release the screwdriver and release the terminal. And I can tell you that the terminal is holding the wire in pretty tight. But still, if I was installing this for the long term, I would probably bend the wires around and tie them up with a zip tie just to provide a little more strain relief and, and make sure that the wires don't pull out. I'll connect the rest of the wires and now I'll connect it to my LED strip. Okay, so now I just need to hook up my power supply. And just like with the light bulbs, when I select a new color, the response is instantaneous. And obviously the color representation here depends on the quality of the LED strip that I'm using, but the controller is definitely not affecting any colors that I'm selecting. So now that you've seen how well this one works, I'll also show it to you on AliExpress. And these RGB controllers are normally at $24, but again, there's a sale coming up, so they will drop down in price. So would I recommend these as a viable Philips Q light bulb replacement? I think so. I definitely like how well these bulbs represent the colors and at almost half the price of a typical Philips Hue light bulb, you just can't go wrong with these. Bottom line, all these Zigbee light bulbs are still pretty pricey, but it's nice to see new options that are more affordable and work as well as a real Philips Hue light bulb. So let me know what you think of these if you've already had a chance to try them out in your setup in the comments below. And until next time, 
this is BK Hobby. Thank you.